Hi, this is Chef Paul and welcome back to Wine Basics here at Gulf Coast State College in the Advanced Technology Center. I hope you're enjoying this little wine journey we're taking and today we're going red. I opened this bottle of Francis Coppola Shiraz or Syrah depending on uh, where you come from and as a mid-level red wine this one is going to be not something I would suggest people try for the very first time. But as we move into red wines, if you remember, we talked about Chardonnay last time, Chardonnay being on the upper end of the white wine scale. As we start again in red wines, we're going to start with something like a Pinot Noir, a Zinfandel, not a white Zinfandel, a Grenache, a Syrah, Shiraz. These wines to get us into red wines because they have a few different things to them. The red wines are red because when they were pressed, they let the skin stay in contact with the grape juice. Grape juice is white. The only way we get red wine is by taking and allowing the skins to stay in contact with the juice and the skins bleed their color into the juice. That's it. It's the only reason. If we were to take this Shiraz and press it without its skins, we would end up with a white wine. So the longer we leave the skins in contact, the more color, which is why you might see rosés that are that light peach or salmon color, and those have just had the skins stay in contact for a shorter period of time. Now, along with color, there's a really important thing that the skins give the wine and those are tannins. Tannins are the chemicals found in the skins that give us that astringency in our mouth, that dryness that feels like somebody's grabbing our tongue. Wines can be highly tannic depending on the style of grape that they've used. So this Shiraz, for example, might be mildly tannic. It just depends on how long they let the skin stay in contact with the must. That's it. And understanding that and understanding the profile of tannins is important because it changes your taste experience. Okay? The neat thing about tannins is wines that are highly tannic are great with food. They cause dryness or astringency in your mouth and it causes you to salivate. And that salivation does a couple of things. It's telling your brain, hey, wow, let's eat. Okay, it provides liquid to help break down foods. It's really important. It gets you ready to eat. So understanding tannins, some people don't like them when they first start out. But I guarantee if you take this trip with me and you start at the low end of the white wines and build your way up, by the time you start hitting the reds, you're going to enjoy. And you're going to say, wow, now I understand. It's critical to understand that most red wines typically are food wines. I won't say all, because it's perfectly acceptable to sit down and enjoy just a glass of red wine. I find that the bigger, stronger red wines go better with food. After all, wine is food. And that's really important to understand. Wine is food. Now this, I can really get the, the smells. It, it is just wafting up and yes, it is, it is a tannic wine. And, and I would enjoy something like this because it's a middle of the road red wine. I might enjoy something like this with a pizza just as much as I would enjoy it with a hamburger or a steak. Might not go so well with a piece of broiled flounder because the flounder is so light and delicate that this would overpower it. Salmon, that's a different story. You've got to understand that pairing wines with food means understanding a balance in the flavor profiles. And the flavor profiles include everything from water content, saltiness, fattiness, all those things that you have receptors for in your mouth, balancing them with the wines that are going to give the same or similar set of flavors. If we can do that, then we're going to find wines that are great with different kinds of foods. 
So hopefully you're going to learn to enjoy your red wines with some foods and try this a nice Pinot Noir or a Shiraz or Syrah and hopefully you'll be able to build your wine list up here and understand what you like, how to order it and make your own wine cellar at home. So this is Chef Paul. Come back next time when we talk about even bigger reds.